And we are back. I took the liberty of clearing all the enemies out of this area already, so we don't have to put up with too many fights. And we go up here and we can find a treasure chest which contains a chicken dew. Very nice. And controls are acting all weird on me, but whatever. Anyways, we head down this way, run out of the dash meter, keep going. I suppose if you tap the button, you can keep running without having to worry about, about running out of dash, but I just find that to be really annoying to do. Plus, it doesn't work all that well either. And we make it to Cesspool X. And we talk to this guy, a vulture. Yeah, what is this guy? What? Okay, so you got surgery to look like an animal? Animal people, huh? Hmm. Yeah, well, well, I suppose this guy isn't too bad, but he is kind of weird. But we don't ever have to talk to him again, so don't worry about him. Anyways, we head over this way and we find that this weird looking dude looks like a snail. Probably because he is a snail. Um, no. Could you point it out for me? Um, I think Balthius gets it. Kitsune? Ah, you're crazy. What the hell is this guy talking about? Do you need our help or something, or are you just wasting my time? Jay Lindsay? Jay Lindsay. Um, wait, what? Some stupid love letter. Oh, it'll give us some Neo shekels. Oh, I guess it's okay. Eh, alright, well, let's go take this to her. Ah, shut it. Not really. You're gonna make us read it anyways, aren't you? Wow, that was amazingly shitty. <laughs> now, if you give... Jay Lindsay, the letter as is, you can get 400 Neo Shekels, but there's some better rewards to be had. Alright, let's rewrite the poem. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to her and find out what she likes. Okay, you don't have to ask any of these questions in particular, any particular order, you just have to ask her about them. And she says a lot of bullshit about liking animals and the kitsune thing, and I don't care. She says she likes hunting, but not really. None of this shit's really important, so it's not worth reading. Oh, jeez. Alright, thanks. Now, let's go rewrite this stupid letter. Huh, that guy behind the counter looks somewhat familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Oh well, I'm sure it's not important. Well, your poem ain't much better, Balthios. <laughs> Vince? Looks like Vince got something. Alright. Looks like we got an easy way to make this poem now. Ah, Baltius, are you trying to fuck this up again? Just shut up, Baltius, please. I know what I'm doing here. I've done this before. Enjoys hunting small prey. Hmm. Well, robots have never lied to me before, 
so let's go with Vince's advice. Just shut up, Baltius. Just do it. Anyways, if you rewrite the letter but don't use Vince's suggestions and give it to Jay Lindsay, uh, you get 600 Neo Shekels instead. Does not mind animal feces much. Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, she told us what she likes, and she likes that, I think. You really don't have to pay attention to any of what you're writing, but... If you really care, you can read and see how it flows, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, taking Vince's advice actually nets you the best reward. Yeah, let's go... Oh, ah, shit! Sorry about that. Alright. Sorry about that. I wasn't reading there. That's fine. Okay, now let's deliver. Oh, hold on a second. That dog has something we want. Yeah, those Nikes. Those are a very good item. We can get those later. Anyways, we give her her poem. Yep, that's from Eric. And, uh, despite Balthius saying Vince doesn't know a thing about love, Jay Lindsay loves this stupid thing. Now, you don't get any money for this, but you get a far better reward. Blah, 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 all this sentimental crap. And he dropped something. <laughs> Anyways, we go up to this, and we get the Snail Zauber. You get a new weapon, and Baltius learns the Snail Zauber technique. Now, the Snail Zauber technique, uh, it basically lowers the enemy's speed by a lot, but only has a 50% chance of working. Now, the Snail Zauber is actually Baltius' best weapon. Now, when I say best weapon, that doesn't mean it's the strongest weapon he gets. But, it's the only weapon that gives a, a increase to his guard, and it increases it by 20, which is a whole lot. So you definitely want to equip that on him. Now heading over here, we got we have an, a, a little equipment shop. And anyways, you can get a spiked bee ball, you can buy one for Barkley, and if you wanted to, you could buy one for Vince, but I'm not going to. And, let's see, we do want to get this Warhammer this trench coat and referee uniform and that's it and I'll equip that stuff real quick so hold on a second okay I gave Barkley's old b-ball to Vince since well he's gonna be leaving us soon and I'd have to sell the b-ball anyways because it will be worthless to us after what afterwards oh and you go in here and this guy will let you rest to heal you takes 25 neo shuttles but it's worth it anyways we head up here find another pump. Let's see, save over this. And head up here. And this is Cyber Dwarf's house. Oh, okay. I won't stare. Or at least try not to. Hey, Cyber Dwarf. He looks kinda strange. Oh. That is a bit... Ah, that looks like it hurts. The world of dwarves, you say? Oh, that really sucks. A hospital that only has bee balls? Jeez. Is it, are things really that bad in the world? Well, Barkley's father? Wait, no, this is... Charles is Hoops' father. Oh shit. For all we know, Jordan has Hoops. We better go back to get him. Vince Borg seems to remember something at Hoops' name, but we don't know for sure what it is. Alright, we better go to the church to get him. And with that, we get our fourth party member, Cyber Dwarf, and he's actually pretty good. I'll explain things about him later. 
Anyways, you see this little area back there? Despite the fact that we're supposed to go to the church, we're actually going to go here first. So when we come back, we'll go explore this area behind Cyber Dwarf's house. Until then, see ya.